the impeachment trial of suspended Attorney General Kate Paxton continues today. Senators returning to the chamber in a little more than two hours. Paxton, of course, facing 16 articles of impeachment, alleging he abused his office in several ways to help a friend and political donor. Fireworks are already flying at the state capitol after day one of the historic event. KVU's Eric Pointer joins us now live from the capitol with a breakdown of how day one went. Good morning. Good morning, Yvonne. First, we heard the them establish the rules for the trial, and then there was opening statements. And before the first day ended, the first witness took to the stand. During the pre-trial motions, senators voted not to dismiss any articles, and the lieutenant governor ruled that Paxton cannot be compelled to testify. In their opening statements, Paxton's attorneys argued that the gag order issued in this case has kept them from defending themselves in the court of public opinion. After that, we heard from the first witness, Paxton's former first assistant, Jeff Mateer, who was the initial whistleblower about Paxton's ties to Nate Paul. I urged him not to have any further dealings with Nate Paul, to let the lawyers, the professionals in the Office of Attorney General, handle these matters as they saw fit. Mateer's testimony was still going on when they decided to adjourn for the day to sort out what privileged information would be allowed in court. Now court will resume at 9 o'clock this morning with the House managers using what's left of their 24 hours to present their evidence. Rob, Yvonne. All right, Eric, thank you so much. Live at the Texas Capitol for us this morning where it is bound to get very busy. Well, we won't know if Paxson is planning to show up in court today until proceedings begin again. Turns out he doesn't even have to be there. The rules that the Senate laid out only required him to be there yesterday morning. Not everyone in the Senate chamber seems up to date on that fact. The attorney for the impeachment managers brought up the fact that he wasn't there to Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, who is serving as the judge in the trial. That's when Paxson's lawyers chimed in saying the rules don't call for it. As per the rule, he was here at nine as required. Uh, I didn't see anything else in the rule that required him to be here any other time. You're right. Correct. After the trial adjourned for lunch, Paxton wasn't seen for the rest of the day. Right now, it's not clear if he plans to attend the remainder of the trial at all or if another rule requires his presence at a different point. Before opening statements, the Senate went through each article of impeachment and each motion filed before the trial started. This process took a couple of hours for each of the articles. They had to vote on paper whether they wanted to dismiss the charge. Then when each vote was counted, they had to repeat it out loud. And they repeated this process and I watched every single minute of it took hours. 16 times. There were also a number of motions to vote on, including one to dismiss the trial altogether. Only six senators voted to dismiss it. Lois Kolkhorst, Paul Betancourt, Brandon Creighton, Tan Parker, Bob Hall, and Donna Campbell were the conservative minority. They say there's not enough evidence to prove the case. In just over two hours, the trial will continue, 9 a.m. sharp. KVU will carry the entire trial on KVU Plus, bringing you expert analysis and trial summaries daily. You can watch on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon, Fire TV, and KVU.com.